Alrighty, so this lesson we are going to be talking about crazy legs. And obviously crazy legs, uh, there's a few different types of versions. We're gonna do a basic crazy legs and we're gonna start from very, very basic beginner. Never tried this before, uh, ground level. And then hopefully with enough practice, we're gonna get you smoothed out. So crazy legs is this one. All right, you've seen this before. Looks really fun, looks really cool. All right, so here's how we're gonna get you started on crazy legs. We're gonna start by breaking it down in a lateral movement. Um, and we're gonna start, for me, I'm gonna start on my left side and I'm gonna be moving to the right. I start on two bent knees. I'm gonna place my right skate out by lifting up my heel wheel, rotating my knee in the direction I'm gonna turn, setting that down, pushing out of my left foot, pulling across, picking up my right, kicking up my left. I'm gonna repeat the same thing, going to the left. So I bend my knees, I'm gonna take my left leg, because I'm going to the left, pick up those heel wheels, rotate my knee in the direction of travel, set it back down, push out of my right knee. Again, you see my heel wheels come up, I set them down to this open position, then I step, step. Okay, here I go again, so I'm gonna push. At the same time I'm pushing out of my outside leg towards the direction I'm going, I'm gonna be lifting up those heel wheels, setting down, step, step. Again, push, set it down, step, step. Push and step, push and step, push and step. Okay, now I know this looks maybe easier than it is. Um, I definitely recommend practicing some turnout exercises. The, easy, the more of a turnout you have, the easier this is gonna be, although it does not mean you can't do this move. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier if you have that flexibility in your hips, okay? So again, this is something you can practice with a chair or a countertop if you're not used to doing this position yet. Again, I'm picking up my heel wheels, setting it down, and then repeating on the other side, lift up the heel and set it down. So you don't actually have to pick your feet up yet, right? The only time I'm stepping and lifting up my feet is when I get to the ends. Okay, cool, now from here, we're gonna call those like, I think of them as bookends, and I think of the center as like my books. So I may be referring to that a little bit later, just so you know what we're talking about. So after we've practiced this push out, the open position, step, step, open position, step, step, let's try and do that to account just so we're sort of establishing our rhythm. So if I step out, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can practice that for an entire song, literally just that move, and over the course of one song, practicing and counting one, two, three, four, you're gonna find that your body feels a little bit more comfortable with this. All right, so once we feel comfortable with just the basic center piece, we're going to add a little, we're gonna do a little something on the bookends. So I'm in the center, I'm going to step my outside foot here, and my inside foot, the side, the foot closest to the books, is actually gonna lift, rotate, and set down. So this is my new stopping position with the inside foot. Okay, from here I'm still gonna push out of my out of my outside leg, step into it, step and back. So all I did was lift up my heel wheels, rotate my knee towards the other knee, and pull it back out. Knee and out. Step knee and out. Step knee and out. Step knee and out. I'm not actually having to pick up my foot to do this step right now. I'm able to do Keep it, uh, do this turn of my foot with the toe wheels on the ground and just set the heel wheels. So if you don't feel comfortable taking a step yet, you don't even have to leave, your feet don't have to leave the ground for this, okay? All right, so let me show you what this is gonna look like from the side. I'm gonna go towards you, one, two. One, two, okay? So I'm just lifting up the heel, setting it down, lifting up the heel, setting it down. Pulling back out into my center position, lift the heel, set it down, lift the heel, set it down. So you'll notice my knees are away from each other, now they're towards each other. Knees open, knees in. Knees open, knees in. Knees open, knees in. For everything in skating, when your knees are bent or soft, we are more supported, so we're gonna feel more balanced. So if you feel at any point that maybe you're unstable or this isn't working for you, just do a little knee check and make sure that your knees are staying soft at every moment. Okay, so now we can set this to a little bit of a tempo too. So we're gonna keep this, the timing the same that we did before, only the feet have changed a little bit, they've gone up a notch. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, I challenge you to do that for an entire song, your favorite song, doesn't matter what it is, but the whole song just so that it starts to get to be easier for your body and more natural. From here, we're going to whittle that down. We're gonna now do, we're gonna change our tempo up. You're gonna do the same feet. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're gonna try and get it so that we can change both feet more at the same time now. So notice I'm doing that change in one beat instead of boom, boom. I'm now going one, over one, over one, over one, okay? So if we can do that, that's already made us a little bit smoother. And two, we can start to adjust our tempos to music. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our timing. And we're gonna get our timing down to stopping doing our, our bookends on the count of four. So I'm gonna again, start two bent knees, but I'm gonna really fire up the outside leg because that's what's gonna push me to the right. So I'm gonna push myself open. One, two, three, stop on four. When I stop on four, it's really important that you bend your knees and my outside leg is ready to push me right back over for the one. So from here, I'm gonna push out of this right leg. As you know, the inside knee rotates to get into that open knee position. So I push one, two, three, four. Push one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I want you guys to practice that timing for a whole song. Pause me now, practice it. We're gonna whittle it down, we're gonna stop on the three. So again, we're starting here, two bent knees, pushing out on the one, push out. One, two, three, Lead on four. On that fourth one, I just want to give yourself a little knee bend just so you're keeping time with the music. So we stopped on three, bounce on four, push out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Full song. Good practice. We're ready to stop it on two. Same thing. We're getting better, smoother, I hope. So again, starting bent knees, push out on one. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay? We're getting there. So now we're gonna do a stop on every one. So this is gonna look like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So we're only open setting those heels down for a brief second, then hitting our bookend, then pushing, setting it down, and then bookend. Open, close. Look at my knees. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Okay? Full song for that one. The last step in getting this to look smoother is in, it all happens in this middle moment. So rather than setting our heels down on the ground before hitting our bookend, we're gonna actually hover on our toes in that moment. You don't have to have your toe stops out for this, but it does help. It is easier if you're not comfortable to go there, no problem. I've got my toe stops in right now, and I'm doing it. So you can do this hover, meaning you're gonna be up on your toes um, with toe stops in. It's just making sure that you're keeping your knees bent while you do it. So this is, like I said, we're gonna be eliminating setting our heels down in the middle. That's what we're, we've gotten to so far. Now, if I were to not set my heels all the way down, I'm staying up and setting down. Stay up, set down, stay up, set down, stay up, set down. Okay, that's like a slow motion breakdown of what the, a smooth, crazy legs looks like. It just means that in the middle when my knees are open, I'm actually on my toes instead of my heels on the ground. So I'll show you one more time. One, 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 one. knees open, close, open, close, okay? So again, we're gonna be hitting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll get this slower too, though. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. And then up, up, up. So like I said, crazy legs is not built in a day. It takes quite a long time to perfect it. There's a lot of moving parts. As with everything, keeping your knees bent, um, really working through the position slowly and building upon the skills one at a time is gonna make this come together a lot faster for you. But I definitely recommend doing the drills and always practicing this to music so that you are continuously keeping the beat and the rhythm, which is so important for roller dance. So have fun.